You should get some rest. You're not being reasonable. To hell with reason. I've rested long, and I'm well enough. You've just barely woken from a stupor that had you on death's doorstep. The affairs of state can certainly wait another day. <sighs> Thank you, my lady, but I am amazingly well. You can take leave of me with no fear, I assure you. He just escaped a deathly sleep, and here he is ready to conquer the world. Your cousin is exasperating. <sighs> what now? Are you going to scold me as well? No, no. I'm just relieved to see you're still alive. <sighs> I'm quite relieved myself, actually. Thank you, fair cousin. Without you, I would be dead thrice, wouldn't I? Or is it the fourth time? If we start counting the time you stop me from climbing the ramparts of Serene, we'd be up to five times now. It's unbelievable. You feel no pain whatsoever. And your complexion. <sighs> I haven't even taken a look at myself. Is the improvement visible? I would not go that far. How is it that... What happened? Don't make that face. It's merely a major miracle. Come on now. I'm gonna tell you everything. We have been waiting for your return. I knew you would do everything in your power. I have always trusted you. But Katasak feared that I would not hold on long enough. He spoke to me about a ritual that would help me. I was excited about it. And in spite of all that has happened, I don't regret following him. We went to the ancient site. A place full of magic. I followed his instructions, and all of a sudden, what an incredible sensation. I felt better than I have ever felt, cousin. Alas, we had very little time to celebrate. Cries came to our ears, and beasts jumped all over us. We fled for a while, as other soldiers fought through, creating a path to join us. But I can see from your face that you know this already. Indeed. Once on the ritual site, I followed your tracks and deduced what had happened. It seems that Vimbar was targeting you specifically. Did he say anything to you? I was still very weak, and most of the time he whispered in his own language. It seemed that he was speaking to someone and following his orders. But there was no one other than us, cousin. The crazy madman must have been hearing voices. Do you have any idea why he didn't kill you, like the others? No. No, not really. It seemed like he was trying to tell me something, though. He spoke about isolating me from the world, that I couldn't return to the Earth. It made absolutely no sense. But aren't you happy that he let me live? Don't speak foolishly. Of course. I just want to understand. Tell me more about this ritual. What did it consist of? It is, I think, a ritual that the Doné Garda practice to bind themselves to the island. Doné Garda? Katasak taught you their language? Just a few words. He wanted me to learn, to understand, but we had so little time. So he visited this infamous site, where he prepared for me a sort of potion. What ceremony? I had to cut my hand in front of an enormous stone, and there, a gigantic beast came and started circling around me. It was incredible. I truly felt a bond with that place. Like a wave came through me, as if the power of the island was running through my veins. It was marvelous. And now I am Onol Manawi, like you. Even if the Malachor left me a few of its marks. But you had to encounter the god of the island, didn't you? How was a non meal Frichtemann? Yes, I passed a trial for that. But the only one who could guide me to the Sanctuary is dead. Oh no. Do not tell me. And yes, only the High King can open the Sanctuary, according to Glendam. I have no choice but to return to see him. I'm certain they are going to name a successor.
Good day, Glendon. Beort Tirtomat, Karans of Katasach. We learned of his death. And they washed Tire. Alas, his was not the only tragic loss. Your High King Vinbar is also dead. He was taken by folly. He went away into the mountains after killing Katasak and capturing my cousin. Nothing I could say would allow him to see reason. Are you telling me that you were the one who killed him? Ker Tonsidak. What happened? How could a friend of Katasak do such a horrible thing? I am sorry, but your High King did not leave me the choice. He was about to kill my cousin, and then he attacked me. He was becoming a guardian, a Nadaik. Perhaps it was for that reason he lost possession of his wits. I believe you. You have sufficiently proven your friendship. But something escapes me. Why? Why would Vinbar have done such a thing? His offering to Tiafradi does not justify what he did. You know that I wished to see Enon Milfrichtemann, and he was the only one with the power to allow me to do so. I would not have caused his death voluntarily. <sighs> Believe me, I am just as sorry as you. Undevorst, Tyre. We will celebrate his memory as well as those of all the members of our council that have fallen. Vladnit, Katasak, and now our High King. These are dark times, but in spite of our mourning, we must elect a new High King. The children of Tiafradi cannot remain without a guide. All the more so in these troubled times. I will notify the Mal of all the clans so that they may know to travel here. Who has a chance of being elected, in your opinion? Deirdre is powerful, and many clans would follow her. The wisdom of Dunkas will also attract support from many. And there is also Ulan, a clever fox who is very capable of convincing the entire world with his honey-dripping words. Deirdre, Dunkas, and Ulan. I must convince them to help me if they are elected. I suppose. I must begin the preparations. You must leave now. I must leave. Goodbye. Qua awelem seg. What do you seek? I am the bearer of bad news. Your High King Vinbar is dead. Dead? And the first Tire. He was a good king in times of peace, but he was plunged into doubt by your arrival. He was no longer at his people's side. Glendan told me that you would be one of those keen to replace him. That's true. If Bladnid was still here, I would have given her my votes and followed her into battle. But since she's no longer with us, I must obtain the title and do what should have been done a long time ago. Drive away the Renaixi and take back our island they want to enslave. Will you drive us away too? We will drive away the Renaixi. You are on all Minawi. You will have to pick a side. I see. 
If you were to be elected, I would need your help to allow me to meet Enon Mil Frigdeman. Only he can help us cure the Malachor. Why should you be preoccupied with a disease striking those we want to drive away? I have my own reasons. But you should know this is the best way for the Renaigse to leave the island of their own accord. You have helped my people. You are our Carants as well. You can count on me to help you. Once I am the High Queen, I will lead you to the Sanctuary. You seem certain you will obtain the title. Those who covet victory must do everything they can to obtain it. Don't you agree? The old kings wore a legendary crown, which was lost during the war against the people of the sea. Whoever were to retrieve it would be chosen. And you know where it is? I believe it is located in the Tomb of the Kings. A holy place not far from the village of Ignamri. I do not know exactly where it is. But it is said that the path leading there is strewn with spears, and that the entrance is marked by a dead tree, and protected by a Nadaig Magaman. Do not worry. I will find this place and retrieve the crown before the election. If I want to be certain of the outcome of this vote, I'd better go and get this crown myself. Anything more? I need to be going. Now we've earned the trust of one of the pretenders. We just need to find that crown. Are you certain you are willing to influence the fate of all my people to meet an on Milfrichtman? I understand that you might find this idea unpleasant. But the survival of the whole continent relies on this encounter, Siora. It is my feeling that you do not understand the consequences of such a decision. Everyone on the island will listen to the words of a High King. I hope you and your allies share the same idea. Because once the crown is on their head, we will have to follow their course. You're right. It's a decision that is more important than our quest for an antidote. I must dwell on it. What brings you here on Omanawi? I am the bearer of bad news. Vinbar, your high king, is dead. Ande Voshtire. He was a great king, and a very wise Donegad. We haven't seen him in a long time, but his memory shall be honored. Glendan told me that you would probably be among those who would want to take his place. I am not looking for power, but Tiafradi needs peace and balance. 
And I fear the other kings may want war, or be motivated by ambition. The Renaissance brought chaos with them, and our island has suffered. We cannot change the past, and chasing away those who came does not make sense. The wound is there. Refusing to acknowledge it is pointless. But wounds can be healed, and my clan knows how to do this. So if you're worried about my intentions, if I were to become Hoi King, I'll lay them out for you. We must find balance with those from the remote island and live together in harmony. But for this, we must teach the Renaixe humility and to respect the earth. I would like to meet Enon Milfrichtemann in order to find an antidote for the disease that is destroying my people. If you were elected, would you help me in this endeavor? Your clan has not given me many reasons to trust you. But if you prove my suspicions wrong, I will help you. The Lugayer Blau fooled us in the past. It is their turn to prove their good faith. What do you want from us? Not long ago, we clashed with your clan. Your people said that the forest belonged to them and prevented us from entering. We spoke with your Lady Morange, and we almost came to an agreement. Then an elder from my village poisoned three woodcutters. That stopped the discussions. The old man responsible for the deaths must be punished, I agree. But not by your people. Not until we are sure we can trust you. There is a mine in the forest that the congregation has long operated with help from my people. But digging into the mountain has risked it collapsing. We reinforced the earth with wood. We worked with the Lugaid Blau to save the mountain and the men. We agreed to stop digging and sealed the entrance with a boulder. But some Renaigse came back, and I think they started digging again. And some of my people started going missing. Perhaps because they had seen them break their promise. If the mountain collapses and it is your clan's fault, thousands of lives will be lost. And you want me to intervene? You have to stop them. Remind them of their promise. This is the price of my trust. If you do, we punish the person responsible for the death of the woodcutters, and all our quarrels will be gone. I'll go to this mine and see what's going on. Is there anything else? I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkus. Kwa Awalam Seng.
sorry, this is private property. I cannot allow you to enter. Actually, no one should be able to enter. This mine is doomed. It's terribly dangerous. I wouldn't know. Our employer, Mr. Mayard, is the owner. He's got all the deeds required. Listen, you should go to the authorities. They can confirm all the paperwork. I definitely will. This makes no sense. Why resume the exploitation of a dangerous mine? Do they want their men to die? These Renegs, they must not have taken us seriously. We should take a closer look. We should take the path that overlooks the outer wall. We should be able to see inside them. Look, they freed access to the mine. The Monesinaiga. They use captives from the villages to dig their mine. They've made them into slaves. We must talk to Sir de Cossillon. I hope our nation is not involved in this business. Now we just have to go see the Pretenders, and hope that they will accept us. Don't expect them to yield easily. After all, they're protecting their most sacred place. You will have to prove that you are worthy of their trust. If only there was a way to be certain of the results of this vote. We would need only to convince one. There is way more at stake in this election than your encounter with Enormir Flichtemen. It will decide the fate of my people. And it may even decide the fate of yours. 
Because every king and every queen has their own opinion when it comes to Deer and Aigse and what should be done. Once elected, they will decide and we will follow. If there is a way to influence this vote, take your time to think about the consequences. My fair cousin, I'm so glad to see you. You are right on time. We have visitors, and your advice would be most welcome. Let me introduce you to the emissaries of the Bridge Alliance and Teleme. Seeing them both in the same room is rather surprising, isn't it? But please, Your Excellencies, explain to us what brought you here. Sire, I have come to humbly request your help. We have been sustaining terrible attacks. Really? Are the natives behind this again? Unless it is those traitors of the guard. We aren't sure, but it is almost certain that the natives are involved. Governor Byrne is hoping that you could send him your cousin, as well as some troops. It would seem that we are in a similar situation, sire. Our city has been sustaining terribly violent assaults, and our losses are great. Our mother cardinal is begging you to send her some help as soon as possible. <sighs> Dear allies, knowing that you are in such a delicate situation fills me with sorrow. However, the size of our troops has greatly reduced after the horrific attempt at a coup. And regarding sending my cousin, she's already very busy undertaking a mission of the utmost importance, without even mentioning the fact that what you describe fills me with fear for her life, which is most precious to me. <sighs> no, I really don't see how I could be of assistance to you. Constantine, we cannot remain deaf to the call of our allies. I'm sure I can find the time to go and evaluate the situation. I would love to accompany you, but my people are being wrongfully accused. I am certain of it, and I want to prove it. Very well, my dear. You know I cannot refuse you anything. But remember how urgent it is for this antidote to be found. We are so close to it now. Don't worry about it. You know how important this mission is to me. Well. This audience is coming to an end. Your Excellencies, inform your governors of my cousin's arrival. I hope that you realize how grateful you should be to her. Absolutely, sire. And we thank you both for receiving us. May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. De Corsillon. The sad day, my young student. What can I do for you? I've come to ask you about a mine near Vigigador. It was closed for a long time for security reasons, but someone has started exploiting it again. Hmm. I seem to recall that a concession in this area was sold to a master Maillard. However, I do not recall the details of the contract. It was established by the previous government. He is a rich merchant from Serene, who arrived on the island only a short while before we did. People say that he is unscrupulous. Unscrupulous? That's an understatement. This man had some natives captured, and he's using them as slaves to work in this mine. What? Does this old brigand really think that he is above the law? We cannot tolerate such methods, but we must determine the best way to attack him. You should start by finding the deed to his property in the archives. Don't worry. We'll not let this man's behavior go unpunished. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsillon. Thank you. 
What do these documents say? I get lost in all the legal jargon, but they have Lady Morange's seal on them. We should find her to understand exactly what they say. Good day, my lady. Happy to see you again in such fine health. How can I be of service? I need your advice once more. This time it's about the property deeds of a plot of land and of a mine acquired by a certain Maillard. Here are the deeds. I must admit that I understand very little of what's written, but your seal is on it. Hmm, do not worry. This type of document is always difficult to decipher for the uninitiated. However, they are very clear. Master Maillard is the owner of a plot of land located near Vigigador. He can exploit the forest and plant anything he wants there, but it says here that he does not have the right to exploit the mine. It's even repeated in this other paragraph. Any attempt at mining on this land is forbidden. And yet, the mine located on this plot of land has been reopened and is being exploited as we speak. According to these documents, the mine has been closed for security reasons. This man's behavior is reckless. You should go see him. He's presently in New Serene. He usually spends time at the port when he comes. He has some warehouses there. Come closer, good people. Master Maillard. Who's asking? De Sardé. I am the legate of the congregation. Well, I'm flattered. What brings you here, Your Excellency? I'm here to talk to you about the mine you have near Vigigadu. Are you aware that you have no right to operate it? Nor are you allowed to employ slaves there. But what are you talking about? Surely this is a misunderstanding. Listen, I'm sure there is a way for us to get along. I'm an honest merchant. I've always paid all taxes, and the small bonus is needed. Uh, please tell your cousin that I would be happy to send him the gift of his choice. Now, Your Excellency, if you will allow me, I have to get back to my activities. I'm afraid you don't understand, Master. It's not a money problem. That mine is dangerous. And you endanger the congregation on this island by behaving this way with the natives. Come on, don't be so serious, young woman. I'm sure it's nothing that a small bonus can't fix. Goodbye, madam. Best wishes to your cousin.
Sir de Corsillon. The Sade, my young student. What can I do for you? I verified the contract with Lady Morange. The exploitation of the mine is illegal, as we expected, without even taking into account what he's doing to the natives. I then went to meet Master Maillard. So, what did he have to say in his defense? He turned a deaf ear and tried to bribe me. Oh, some of these merchants are so rich that they forget basic decency. But it's high time we reminded him of who is in charge of the congregation on this island. Here, this is an eviction notice which dispossesses him of all his land for breaching his contract. For his crimes against the natives, he's banished from this island. I will make him aware of this decision, but you should go to the mine immediately. The prisoners must be freed as soon as possible, and the mine closed once more. I'll take care of it. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Looking forward to... Sorry, this is private property. I cannot allow you to enter. I don't need your authorization. I have here an eviction notice signed by the governor's ministers. The former owner, Mr. Maillard, has lost his rights due to a breach of contract. Look, ultimately, we are not the ones who decide. We only obey the boss's orders. In that case, where can I find him to notify him of his loss? You'll find him around here somewhere, Your Excellency. Excellent. Are you looking for trouble? You... 
Master Maillard, I'm so glad to find you here. Here is a document from Sir de Cossillon on behalf of my cousin. Considering the fact that you have not respected the terms of your contract of ownership, you are hereby expelled. The methods you used against the Islanders has also ensured your banishment from Tierfredi. Impossible. By what right? Guards, this woman threatens me. A bit of poison on my brain. Then let's go! Let's see what you take them off. Let's see if you can ward off this fleet. These people were monsters. I wouldn't cry over them. Come now, let's go free my brothers, and we can tell Dunkers everything. Without fear, you were free. And know that we are sorry for what happened to you. We must believe that not all the gear blow or a loik. She is an on all Manawi. That's why she understands us. Thank you. We will not forget you. What brings you here on our Manawi? I was able to close the mine. The man who operated it was arrested and will be banished. Yes, those you freed told me. From now on, you are my Karantz, my friend. You knew how to renew my trust in your clan. Just as trees grow back after being cut. Thank you, Dunkus. I am honored. Will you give us the old man now? If you allow it, 
I would like to punish him myself. Enough blood has been spilled, and he will only call for more of it, since he loved the forest to the point of killing for it. He will be sentenced to heal it. Every day he will replant what your men will cut down. Every day until the end of his life. Does this punishment seem acceptable to you? If I explain to Sir de Corsillon that the man was sentenced to forced labor, I suppose he will approve. Thank you, Duncas. It is a wise sentence. Is there anything else? I would like to meet Enon Milfrichtemann in order to find an antidote for the disease that is destroying my people. If you were elected, would you help me in this endeavor? You are a Karantz of our clan, and I have witnessed your wisdom and benevolence. I would be glad to help you meet Enon Milfrichtemann, and I pray that he will help your people. But you should know that my election is far from certain. The spirits are divided, and some are thirsty for revenge. Would there be a way to make sure that you get picked? I do not like the idea of using such a method. But yes, there is a way. The High Kings of old wore a legendary crown, said to be a gift from Enon Mil Frichtemann. The one who became the first guardian is believed to have taken it with him in death. If someone were to wear it in these troubled times, they would definitely be chosen by the others. And where can I hope to find it? In the burial mound of the Hoi Kings near the village of Vignamri. But it is said that the path towards it is strewn with spears, and that its entrance, situated near a large dead tree, is guarded by a Nardaeg Magamen. It is a deeply holy place, and a guardian will not let anyone enter without a fight. If you do decide to go there, fill your heart with humility and respect. For those who rest there were great men. What do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I regret to inform you that your High King Vinbar is dead. And divorced Tire. He was a great man, although he left us a long time ago. But why have you come to notify me of such sorrowful news? Glendon has informed me that you are most likely among those who will want to take his place. It is true, and I will perhaps be able to obtain it. I understand that you may be worried about my intentions, but rest assured, I seek only to bring peace to our lands. Peace brings life and prosperity. By creating an alliance with the people of the continent, the lives of our people will be improved and happier. There is something I would like to ask of you. If you were to be named High King, I would be thankful if you could allow me to meet Enon Mil Frigdemann. Of course. 
If I become High King, I would be glad to help you. You are Karantz of Ignamri, after all. If you really want to make sure that I win, you will need to seek the crown of the High Kings. What is that? It may only be a legend, but it is said that High Kings used to wear a very ancient crown. The first guardian would have taken it to the grave. If someone were to wear it today, they would surely be chosen. And where is the first guardian's tomb located? Somewhere not far from here, since he fought his last battle nearby. The entrance to his burial mound is said to be guarded by Anadaig Magaman. The path that leads to it, marked by his spears, and its entrance by a large dead tree. But beware, Anadaig will not let you enter without a fight. Anything else? Nothing. I must go. on my blade. Then let's go!
What are you doing there? Here lie those who fell facing the first invaders. And you dare enter and scatter their bones. I did not come here with the intention of defiling this place. No. You came looking for a crown of the High King, hoping to choose the one who will lead us. Isn't that what you are looking for as well? Yes, but I am not a Renaixe. I wish to lead my people to victory, and I have come here seeking something that will make it a certainty. And so? Do you plan on keeping it for one of those who is too wise or cowardly to come and get it themselves? Or will you give me the crown? Dertre is a great warrior. If she reigns, she will unite all of the clans. And with the blessing of Enon Mirfrichtum and the people of your island will be chased away from here. Think long on this. If you leave her the crown, she will become the High Queen. You will not be able to change your mind. If I give you the crown, you shall be named High Queen. What will you do with this power? You have already shown to all that you are not like the other Renaixe. I will not hide from you the truth. Kirfradi does not want to welcome your people. They toy with us. Take without returning, kill and pillage. I will unite my people and cast all of the Monesenaig into their ocean wagons. They will go and pillage elsewhere. You want the crown so you can more easily rid yourself of my presence afterwards? If you give it to me, you will become our Karants. And we do not chase away our Karanten. And also, you are on all Manawi. You are bonded to this land, not to theirs, no? Sorry, Deirdre. I believe someone other than you must become the High King. Someone more easily manipulated. Who will obey the orders of the Renaixe, no doubt. Too bad. You leave me no choice. I have come to take that crown. And I won't leave without it. A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Enough. I accept my defeat. Take this crown. I am not worthy to wear it, so it seems. Indeed. So it seems. We will meet again at Doorhead Genador. Until then, Deirdre.
I went into the tomb. I found the ancient crown of the High Kings. And so you entered into one of our most sacred places. May this adventure have brought you wisdom and understanding of our people and of your own history. This relic is venerated. The one who wears it will certainly be elected. But you know that, do you not? Yes, I do. I need to be certain that whoever is named will help me meet Enon Mir Frigdeman. Oh, I have pledged my honor to help you, and my words are true. But more is being played here than a simple meeting. You know that I work for a tempering of spirits, the healing of wounds of Tifredi, and those of your own continent. But the decision is yours. To the daughter that was lost and refound on our island. Take it. I trust you. In your wisdom, may we be guided towards a peaceful future. The council has begun to unite. It is time for me to go. Thank you for choosing me. I will do all in my power to bring you what you desire. You have my promise.